Brian, tonight, a woman who said she'd raise money for the West Leonard Foundation and said she would raise money for the graduating class of 2011 is in hot water tonight. Here in Fenville, it's the first home game of the season without their star quarterback. Footballs are flying, and so are some hefty allegations. It was just said that there was no money to be donated, and I thought, how is there no money when all the t-shirts are gone? The team's late quarterback and point guard, Wes Leonard, died right after he made the game-winning shot back in March. Remember all the Wes Leonard t-shirts worn at the district games? We're told Christine Thompson Vanderbach sold about 1,400 of them here at the Tasty Treat she owns. Oh, that was the only place they were sold. Oh, wow. And that money was supposed to, what was supposed to happen to that money? Uh, it was supposed to go to the Leonard family or whatever the Leonard family wanted to happen with the money. Okay, and so do you know if the Leonard family ever saw that money? No, they didn't. Can you talk about anything having to do with the Heart Foundation? Right now, I can tell you that uh, we do have an investigation. There has been an allegation raised regarding the misappropriation of funds, and we are looking into that right now. Vanderbach is already facing embezzlement charges for the class of 2011's project graduation. She's charged with misappropriating $200 to $1,000 there. We tried to get her side of the story. Hi, I'm from Channel 8. I was wondering if Ms. Vanderbach was in. Yep, we have no comment, and you may leave the premises, please. When the victim of that is uh, your own children and children of the community, it does make it kind of extra special and hurtful. And herself in on those project graduation charges yesterday. The Sheriff's Department expects to have their investigation on the money missing from the West Leonard Foundation on the prosecutor's desk by sometime next week. At the live desk tonight, Crystal Hilliard, 24-Hour News 8. Thank you, Chris.